hey guys so here is my tutorial on how I achieve these gorgeous thick bouncy curls on a blowout and I've got a mini vlog of when I met natural hair daily for our that curl next door so I'm starting out here with hair that's been blown out using a medium to cool setting so I've got loads and loads of volume but I just wanted it to look a little bit more defined for the interview I wasn't going for super defined but I just wanted there to be some texture to it so I go in and I section the hair of course it's so much easier to work with your hair if it's in sections and I like working from the back forward can I suggest that for this style you do not use a water-based styler because that's what I did and as soon as the wind and the drizzle hit my hair it kind of started to lose its definition and it didn't last as long as it would have otherwise. So you want to go in with your styler, it could be sheer butter or it could be some kind of a pomade and you want to work it up from the ends. Now one thing i would say is if you wanted your hair to be super defined or more defined use a section that is half the size of this you'll see that the bottom is quite thick versus the ends so if you wanted your hair to be more defined then i would go for a section that is half the size that i'm using here so i simply replace so i simply speak woman so I simply repeat the same process throughout my hair until it looks like this so yeah the next morning I've got my makeup on and I'm ready to be out the door the last thing I want to do is get my hair out of the flexi rods and you'll see that the curl at the front is really quite loose the texture of the flexi rod set was quite varied and I could see and you'll be able to see the sections with the, the smaller parts of hair put in you can actually see it's a lot more defined um, but I actually really quite liked having like a variety of textures because it kind of didn't give it that kind of overly set look so yeah Oh, so here are my final results. I absolutely love the shine. I love the fact that I still got volume to it, but I did want to actually separate out the curls further, so I went on to do that. Thanks to the Fro Girl Ginny, I do not do not feel like my hair is complete without having a little bit of a pick out to kind of increase the volume and I just kind of focus that at the roots of my hair just so it's not flat because it's kind of been pulled and weighed down like all night. So yeah. Hey guys, so I am here at Chiswick High Street, ready to meet Natural Hair Daily. And yeah, I'm running late, but that didn't stop me like dropping in to tell you guys what I was doing. So yeah, we've got dreary English weather. Yeah, oh, yucky, dirty windscreen. <laughs> okay. Just arrived at George the Fourth for our interview. I'm pretty sure I heard you say in the clip like this this toy that my mouth just dropped open. He compared did he, did he say your hair looked like car would look like carpet? Hello, I mean Breathe. Yeah. <laughs> really? Yes. Um that was the first time that I went natural. 
So we've just been filming our interview with Natural Hair Daily and yeah, I nearly got a parking ticket. I looked out the window and I was like, oh my gosh, that poor person's getting a parking ticket. And guess whose car, <laughs> that's L. And guess whose car it was? Mine. So yeah, we're gonna like, <laughs> we're gonna do, <laughs> we're gonna do some more filming. Okay. Three times fried chips, you know I'm not eating clean today. I'm having a farm burger with cheese, triple fried chips. Oh snap. And squid. So, um, guess who just got a parking ticket? Yeah. These people, like, I literally parked my car and I had, like, paid until, like, quarter past one. And then at 19 minutes past one, I had a parking ticket by the time I got to my car. Who does that? Honestly. Oh. So yeah, that's just kind of put a downer on my day. The interview with the girls went so amazing. They're so, so nice. Um, and I was buzzing and, and oh, not happy. But yeah, here is the weather I'm dealing with. This weather is reflecting my mood. But yeah, I'm about to rush home to go see the baby. I'm so excited. I miss her so much. This is like practice for when I go back to work. So yeah, we're going to be on our way home. <laughs> well, um, this is my videographer. It's my cousin <laughs> Stephanie. <laughs> so what have we just been doing? Shooting an interview with some wonderful naturals for Curly Proverbs. The car next door. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so she does all my filming. Yeah, and she's going to be helping me out with my editing too. So, <laughs> hey, what's up? So, yeah, we're about to head out. Look at this uh, dreary day. But still, the company's good. So, let's go. So, we're done. We're heading out. Um, I'm all warm in my jacket. <laughs> um, yeah. And we're packing up. Look how legit she is. Look at that. She's newly natural. She got her TWA going on. <laughs> <laughs> She's so excited because she can put it into bunches now. <laughs> so yeah, here comes the traffic warden. He already gave me a ticket. I hope he's satisfied. It's quite bad if I show him on camera, maybe somebody might know him and grab him. <laughs> We're leaving. <laughs> look at that little bit of lipstick still left. Okay, look, he's hiding behind the tree, like giving someone a ticket so they can't see. That's what they did to me. Oh, snap. Heartless, heartless. <laughs>